and welcome fellow girls, guys and gaming fans. I hope you're well today. This is Small Archangel. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Ostriv the City Builder, or in my case, it's more of a small village builder. Um, we have only got 22 people because we have no market. We do have some housing available, so that's good. We've ticked everything on our list to get some more migrants coming to our, our place. Um, but we need a market. Now, we have set up a... What is this? A trading post. Uh, and we've also said that we will supply uh, wood, but we haven't actually got... We're hiring workers, but don't have any. We've got a manager. Basically, we need more people. Um, and currently, I think people are working on building different projects. So we've got a windmill. I think I've paused the houses, actually. So uh, there we go. We've paused the houses. And we've got a windmill in the offing as well we're growing some stuff on our farm so hopefully we'll get some food that way it is may 1722 so we're into our second year now last time i was struggling to try and work out why on earth we couldn't get our fishing uh dock supplied with boats yeah i, I worked it out pretty much as soon as i'd finished rec recording basically i have confounded in my mind a boat yard with a fishing dock yeah, it doesn't make much sense, does it really? I thought I had one, but actually they're not the same thing at all. We need a boatyard, which is the one that's, funnily enough, going to make the boats. So let's pop that right there. Uh, and that's going to be our next order of priority uh, for people to work on. But most guys have actually got a job now. We've actually um, sacked the guy that was working in the, the thatchery because we had as much thatch in there as it could deal with. Um, I think I've done the same with the carpentry because there's no point in having any workers there because it's not required at the moment because I thought that's where they built the boat, but they don't. Uh, we've got two guys in the forestry. Now, at the moment, we've got production limits of, and actually, it looks like we've more or less got all of the, yeah, if that's the production limits, we've got stored this lot here. Okay, so the production limits and the storage limits, not the same thing at all. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I don't know how long it's going to take to build our windmill, but I would quite like to get them uh, up and running on this boathouse as soon as. Who are you, guy, and what are you doing? Okay, let's risk this and stick it on. There, we can see the women coming and going from the farm. So let's see the status of the farm. We've got one, two, ah, we've got a worker in here, but quite what he's actually doing, I'm not sure. Um, he's storing wood. Okay, so there's some wood going through into there. Um, and I don't know how this works. Export stock, wood. Now, another thing that I think we're going to need is actually um, we're going to need a cart park. Now, we've got three there in the town centre, which we're going to shift at some point because I'll be in our way. However, we're going to need some more of them, I think, cart parking. And we're going to need that to be near our farm and our trading post. So we'll get a car park, wherever on earth that's gone. Oh, it's not there. It's in cart, trade and transport. Here we are. Here we go. Uh, market stall. I know you're in there. So well, there we go. We'll hold to four carts. Um, and this is... Oh, let's turn it around. No, this way. Oh, that's a house, of course. And I think that's right way around. Let me just zoom in so I can see. Yup, that definitely wants to go that way around. And probably... Along the side, we don't need a massive road around here, do we? We don't need huge spaces between anything. And I'll just turn that around a little bit. And then that is kind of in line with our farm and uh, trading post. There we go. And that is automatically sort of, uh, yeah. There. Now, what we need to do probably is move these carts from there to there and then build another cart. Okay, something... Oh, the windmill is finished. Fabulous. Okay, that also needs a worker, of course. But there's no point in having a worker in there at the moment because our farm hasn't produced the goods yet. So we're going to just turn that down a notch in speed so that I don't get lost. Uh, our farm is producing... It's only got four fields at the moment. We could go, we're going to place more fields as we go. We're going to be able to also have livestock there as well, but we need to get the trading set up first because we need to buy the livestock in in the first place. Hopefully they don't die of plague when we've got them. That will be annoying. Um, but we're growing potatoes and wheat at the moment. I'm hoping we're going to have enough food for ourselves over the winter. Now, we've got a field of wheat here, and that's growing nicely, and we've got a field of presumably potatoes here. I like that you can see them. 
that's nice and then the other two are fallow because we're going to need to cycle those around we've got these nutrients in the soil and the each crop has slightly different nutrients i'm not quite sure what the nutrients are sort of i don't know nitrogen and and potassium and i have no idea to be honest uh horticulturalist i ain't but i kind of understand the need for cycling your crops and that is a necessity so we're keeping those two fallow deliberately and we'll probably put more fields round and about as well just to to make sure that we've got uh, sort of yeah we, that's why i've left this big space around the outside that's going to be all fields i remember i had it all fields round here well it will be all fields it's not just yet um, and what is that? That presumably is... Oh, that's a house as well. So we're going to be building some more houses there. But my poor people at the moment, there's so few of them that they really don't know what to do with themselves. So uh, no market. Yeah, there's your jobs avail available. And then some. Um, oh, there aren't any jobs available now. Oh, really? Well, that's a bit strange, isn't it? I would have thought that there were. Okay, in that case... There will be jobs available. The thing is that at the moment I don't want to set those uh, as as available to hire because I want the available guys to be building my boathouse here because we have a couple of boats on order from here, look, from our fishing dock, and then we'll put a guy on to be a fisherman and hopefully we'll get some fish as well as our wheat and potatoes and then hopefully we can breathe a bit of a sigh of relief that all our people won't leave this winter, not because they don't have homes, but because they don't have food. People don't seem to sort of starve to death in this game, which is a good thing, I suppose, but they will leave. And we've got few enough peeps as it is. We don't want any less of them. Um, so uh, so there we go. So currently we've got like four women, I think, working here. Well, one of them looks like a woman and the other, do, the other three look like guys. But uh, can I follow this person? And it is indeed a woman, see? So her, by the face, it's very difficult to tell because they're just sketchy. Yeah, I can see when it's bigger. Right? There's a woman. That's fine. There we go. So we've hired only women at our, being a, an unequal opportunities employer here, we've hired only women at the farm because there's limited jobs that they can actually do. Very unlike reality. Uh, and all the labouring jobs and the building jobs are guys. So is this finished? Oh, my word. Is that finished? Yes, let's get a guy on it straight away uh, because we need these boats built for our fishing dock. So we've ordered a couple of boats, so let's get them going. We've got It's June now, but at least we've got our uh, crops coming through in, uh, in here as well. Once the harvest is in, then we'll need to get somebody in the windmill, I guess, to uh, mill the corn for, um, yeah, for, uh, for flour to make bread do we need a bakery let's have a look at our production tab and see what we don't have there's a lot of stuff that produces um there's some cattle uh stuff for our farm so we've got our mill we can get a cattle shed a uh, cow shed a place for breeding cows and milk production but we're going to need to buy cows first. Let's see what it says when you buy cattle from neighboring towns it will be assigned to a cow shed with more space Right, well, presumably a cow shed, if it's empty, make sure the cow shed staffed and has a stock of hay and water before cattle trader arrives. So that's what we're going to have to pre-plan. In summer, cows could graze on a pasture, so we can put a big field uh, and stick cows in that. Use add pasture button to add one, and we add that directly to the cow shed, I think. Uh, they can also pasture on a fallow farm field if you allow them to do so. For breeding, you need at least one bull per cow shed. Okay, so we could be a bit more efficient with our fields if we uh, don't just assign a single pasture, but but they don't really have a cost associated with them, so I'm not sure. Uh, one bull per cow. We also turn bulls to oxen for use as draft, uh, draft animals, so we can order a plough then from our carpenters, and then the sowing and ploughing. Presumably we get more yield or soon in the season. I don't honestly know. All the livestock is listed in Cowshed's properties panel. So the livestock that we have, you can relocate particular animals between cow sheds by dragging them from the list and dropping on a target cow shed. You can also build a slaughterhouse to produce beef and hide. Slaughterhouse workers will take cattle starting from the oldest when livestock limits reached, or if you choose to slaughter a particular animal. Oxen in the last bull will never be slaughtered automatically. 
that's jolly good. In winter, each animal consumes 0.25 hay and water per month. Okay, so that's something we're going to have to look into. There's a tannery so that we can produce leather from the hides. Uh, we can produce hay from grass, um, so we can presumably feed that to cattle as well. So we're going to need to build all this kind of stuff at the same time. Well, the tannery can wait until we've got our cows uh, and livestock established. Um, we've got a smithy. Oil workshop, oh, shoemakers, obviously, that's another one down the chain from the tannery. Tailor's workshop from textiles, okay, and textiles from hemp, so there for clothing later on as well. And then the oil workshop is if we're growing sunflower seeds, which we're not at the moment because, funnily enough, we're prioritising food. Okie dokie, so let's see what's going on in here. We've got wood 60. Now, what do we do once we've got this resource supply yeah well we've got 60 by 60 export stock but are they actually doing it doesn't look like this trading post is actually doing any trading at all and i don't really know how to get it to do any trading either so that's a little confusing um in the meantime building a boat well jolly good there we go. I'm glad to see it. We'd like to get some boats on the water finally before the blooming water freezes over again. Um, but uh, yeah, the trading centre, hmm, trading post. Build a trading post and hire a manager. Assign workers for loading and unloading trade wagons. Okay, workers. Well, yes, I've got a worker and apparently he's working, but that just means he's in the building. It doesn't necessarily mean he's doing anything. Okay, we probably need some carts. Do we need some carts? Click to order a cart. We'll order one cart because these three carts will probably go there. And that would be good. Um, there we are. And so that actually needs to be there. So let's just hire a guy there. There we go. Because I think there's quite a few people looking for work. There we go. Uh, we've not lost anybody. No one's left town yet. yet. Looking for a job. Quite a few people actually. So... So that's good. Let's just hire another worker there. There we go. Um, our thatch has got thatchery could probably do uh, with another guy in it, but maybe not just yet. Um, yeah, so we've got two in there. Uh, we've got one in there. We've got two forest workers. That's fine. We're going to need one in there, but not yet. Let's put another one in there. Now that's hiring as opposed to... Okay, looking for a job for women. Okay. So that's not going to happen then because the four women can't really help us there. Let's have one more woman in the farm. There we go. So labourers limit. Uh, I think we've pretty much got as much. Oh, ah, our farm manager's gone, which is no good. Okay, there we go. We needed a farm manager and he must have reassigned himself to somewhere else. Let's just make sure. Yeah, maybe there. Oh, I don't know. It's easy to lose track. Okay, so this, we've got workers, but we don't have... Okay, if we demolish this, okay, then hopefully, when we clicked on that to be demolished, hopefully people will move the carts. But if there aren't any people available to move the carts, they won't actually move the carts, will they? Uh, there's one cart has been taken from the carpenters, so that's good. So I'll just sack him, and then he's available to do other things, because he's not needed to do anything else at the moment. Fishing boat. Client. Yes, that's right, but presumably he hasn't finished it yet. He's still gathering wood, or somebody is. Okay, that's fine. We've got one cart there. Uh, right, higher options. Higher men, higher women, yes. Um, and I still don't know what we're actually supposed to be doing here. So we've got some stuff that we can export, and wood's pretty much the only thing we have that we can export at the moment, but it's not really... Yeah, I don't know. Higher options, higher men, higher women. Let's just hire women, shall we? Given we've got women to spare and we haven't got men to spare. There we go. Okay, hopefully that will alleviate our worker-based problems a little bit. Look at that great big pile of lumber in the wood yard. Maybe we should get rid of one of those at the moment because we've actually got quite a lot of wood in reserve at the moment. Um, and then we're going to need something in there, but not just yet because we haven't had our fields uh, harvested just yet. Okay, so 
We don't seem to be getting anywhere here. Awaiting 10 wood. Okay, that makes sense. This one has got the amount of wood in it that it's supposed to have. And just nothing is really happening to it. Okay, so it's not going anywhere. It's not doing anything. Do we need to go to the world map? Do we need to... Oh, I see. No active deals. Okay, this guy... That's six days away, that's 18 days away, and that is 16 days away. Well, obviously, our nearest neighbour is this one here, cost 30. Do it. Set up a deal. Get us get us in business. ka -ching. We need this badly. Okay, there we go. So that's roughly how that works. Okay, a little bit of trial and error needed. Uh, and this, we are awaiting 10 wood, and presumably this guy here has got some wood on him, but I don't know how much. I think it's possibly going to be winter again by the time we've actually got a boat uh, to uh, to uh, use in our building there. Let's just speed this up a tad and have a look at this. Wood, 20. Nice. Now, building a boat. Jolly good. Well, we were building a boat before, so uh, whether we're actually going to get the thing built, I have no idea. And it's not something I can see. They're doing it inside of a building, presumably. Um, does it actually come out when they finished it and go on down to the down the ramp and into the water or something? I don't know. Oh, there's a boat there. Look, there is an actual boat outside here. Boat one present. Right, get in. Let's get a worker out there. Yeah, you can see there's a boat, and I've missed that. Right, there we go. They're more efficient than I thought. <gasps> look, our wheat is ripening. I think. Let's just take a little look. Sowing growth. Ripeness. Okay, it's ripening a little bit and it's growing as well. Nutrients, you can see the orange and green nutrients have gone down, but the, maybe that's water. I don't know. Water is kind of a nutrient. Um, and this one, the green and the, none of it's gone down quite so much. But uh, there we go. So that's why. And then these ones are full completely, of course. So next year we will plant in these fields instead and we'll probably place some more fields as well. And we will start up in cattle production eventually as well. Okay, this is exciting. Do we have a guy going to use the fishing boats? Yes, we do. He's just got into the building. Are you actually going to, you know, like get into the boat and go? That would be so cool. Does he actually get into the boat and go fishing? Nice. I have awaited this day for so long. Oh, look at that. He actually, literally. I'm not surprised, really, because... The people in this game do actually do everything that um, you tell them to do. You can watch them do it. So is he going to kind of row out to the middle of the river and then cast a rod and everything? So we're going to have to put another guy in there as well to do some fishing too. Um, I don't have... I have a storehouse and all it's got in it is iron and it's not got much of that. So, But I don't think you could produce iron. Are we going to have to buy that? We might have to buy that via trade. Here we go. Um, so, so yeah, we've got a guy who's going to take him six days to set up a trade deal. I would have started that as soon as I'd built my trade centre had I known that that's how it worked. But there you go. Okay, reality, these things take a little while to sort out. So this, I need to move the cart. Oh, drag and drop. Oh, there we go. There we go. This is telling my people to shift the carts. Shift your cars. I'm going to demolish the car park. Come on. We don't want city centre parking. No, we don't. We want foot traffic only. Um, we'll have carts going through and what have you, but I want to get rid of these ugly tents here and have some actual buildings in the middle of town. We need somewhere for our market stalls to go, and then we don't get a market and no market available thing. And it also says no jobs available. Now, that's a blatant lie. It just means I'm not hiring at the moment because I want some people to actually be available to do things uh, but given there's no market, we're not going to get any newcomers anyway. I wouldn't have thought. There we go. And we've got, yeah, and we're, uh, we've got the women. Let's see how we're doing for, we've got looking for a job, one woman. Okay. Messenger arrived at. Oh, wow. That, that was pretty quick then. Yes. We don't have a day-night cycle here, so it's difficult to work out exactly what day is what. We just get to see the months passing by. Okay, no jobs available. Right, well, we will sort that out. Oh, look, here he is. Is he coming back with some fish? Fish, 0.1. Well, dude. 
Let's assign another worker if we can. Now it'll say jobs available because I know for a fact I don't have anybody available to be that fisherman. But there you are. Okay, this, however, on the other hand, is fully... Uh, is that a woman that's... Let's just follow. I have a feeling that a past... Uh, sorry, a farm worker, uh, a manager has to be a guy, which is really, really sexist, really. Um, and it's kind of... But the, the names don't really give me that much of a clue i have to say that's that's a woman coming out just now so i don't know i have no idea so here we go ripeness and growth we're not there yet are we presumably we'll be uh okay we've still got to relocate this let's just speed this up because i want to get rid of that and then oh i have these on pause don't i let's continue production of those houses and the other thing we probably ought to do is, we'll just do that, and that way, oh, look at that. Did I just relocate him from somewhere else? Workers, hiring. Okay, so where did they go to? I don't know, I think maybe, oh, that's, that's empty. Excellent, let's demolish it, great stuff. Now, I know that we can't demolish everything that's in the town centre at the moment. I'm pretty sure we can't demolish a well, the well. I'm not going to. Because it's got all this water in it and we kind of need it. So we're going to leave that where it is for the time being. Middle of town, pretty good place for it in any case. Uh, but the last time I tried to destroy a well in this game, you couldn't actually do it. Um, it's a good job uh, you can't do it by accident, I suppose. Um, and then, uh, let's see, do I need somebody in? Yeah, I've got somebody in the thatchery, so that's okay. It's going to keep us in thatch for our, our house roofs that we're building. Um, our camp centre is going to be replaced by a town hall i think that's right and then the storage well we're going to need some sort of warehouse for that aren't we so uh first of all let's have a look government town hall hmm oh look that wheat's looking like it's going to be close to ready for sowing before too much longer so perhaps we should wait until we've actually got some more people before we place a town hall but i want to plan things out so i'm going to let's just put this on a slow speed i'm going to plan out our town center so i want our town hall to go kind of here as that looks like a good place for it to go to me there we go but we'll put it on pause there we go so it's not a priority at the moment so we've got that place where we, where we want it to be um, and then we've got decoration things we can put around the town centre when it's established too. But we also need trade and transport. We need to set up a market. Now, um, I'm not sure if we're going to actually have any goods to trade in, but we could do worse. Uh, I mean, we need this trade deal from our nearest neighbour uh, in Balaclia. Balaclia. Okay, we can see on the map there's a little kind of horse symbol or it actually looks more like a camel and I don't have any horse. So, oh, f offers flour, cow and iron. Visiting for 19 more day days. Demands potato. Okay, so they want potatoes. So that's that's quite good. Okay. Okay, buy cow. We don't want to buy a cow at this point and we can buy iron actually. So buy iron. Hmm, price per unit 12. I have no idea how many whatevers we actually have. What's this? Treasury. Ah, okay. But that's a treasury of, I don't know. So I'm not quite sure what we'll be paying in units of, to be honest. But once we've got goods to trade, let's see. Fish, 0.5. Awaiting fish, 0.1. At least we're in production there. Oh my, they've started harvesting. Look at this. Look at this. We're harvesting. Oh, my gosh, they've even got buckets. I'm glad I took on so many women workers in this place. This is brilliant. Look at this. We've actually got a hayrick. We've actually got a haystack. Oh, this is fantastic. I love it. Okay, so we're awaiting our first harvest here. Uh, I don't quite know how much of this we're going to have, but we could do with a plough at some point. So, yeah, I think next season it's going to be the time to set up uh, a couple of... Uh, some some cow sheds, uh, some more fields, uh, and yeah, get ourselves in cow production. Um, but uh, yeah, we uh, we uh, yeah, with this world, this trade over here. If you look, you can see us. We're actually showing on the map now as well, which is nice. So yeah, offers flour, cow, and iron. 
We could buy some iron, I guess. Uh, amount, price per unit. Oh, oh, ah, ah, I see. Okay, so we can kind of do that. Well, I think it would probably be a good idea, wouldn't it, for me to buy some iron, some 60. Well, 60 what? I don't know. Spent naught of 60. Import iron. Okay. I have no idea what uh, what that is actually about. But there we go. Visiting for 17 more days. Wow, he's, he's gone for a long old time. So it's not that far away. But he obviously stays there for a while. Okay, and there's a little kind of horse there as well, indicating perhaps that we could have a trade route there if we wanted. This one wants hemp, hemp, wants sunflower oil and sunflower. Ah, okay. This one wants potato. So actually our nearest neighbour is a little bit better, a little bit easier for us to actually uh, supply. So maybe next season what we need to do is set up a couple of potato fields and then we're going to be in a position to trade in more potatoes. And then this one... We need to send a messenger. Oh, this one, we don't need to send a messenger. Okay, we've already got a little horse there, meaning we could already do deals with them. They can sell us hemp and wheat, but we need to buy, we need to sell them sunflower oil and sunflowers. Okay, there we go. So long-term uh, sort of, uh, long-term sustainability is going to be based in trade which is fine. Now, these two boats are, yeah, we don't need to hire there because those two boats, my people tend to be vaguely intelligent, actually, about what jobs to do. They do prioritize of the, by, by their own account. I don't necessarily need to lay them off and tell them what to do and where to go. But now the harvest is coming in. I very much do want a worker in here. Let's see our higher options. Workers, yeah. Only guys. Only guys, unfortunately, which is kind of difficult. Uh, let's see. We've got... We don't have anybody there we can lay off. Uh, we don't have anybody... Here. We're trading in wood at the moment, so we don't really want to lay off that one. We've got a guy in the thatchery. Uh, let's just... Oopsie, that's not what I meant to do. Let's just lay him off for the moment and see if he goes then to work in the mill. It would be nice if he did. Okay, and let's just stick this on speed. Look at this. This is excellent. They've pretty much, yep, they've taken in all the potatoes. So we're not going to have that many potatoes if we have a look at this. Labor's a bit potato, 2.533. And wheat, 0.51. Okay, so that's pretty good. Okay, what's in each of these buckets? Well, we can't tell. We can't tell to that level of detail, but there we go. Okay, fantastic. So, I feel like we're kind of making progress. I can't see how the individual households are doing. Flour, 0.07. Potato, 0.09. Firewood, they've got plenty of. Water, they've got plenty of. But food, we are a little bit uh, light on at the moment. And then, of course, yeah, we've still got no market. But that is going to be something for us to sort out. We got a worker in here? We have not. Does that mean that we don't have any spares at the moment? We not have any people. We've got two guys fishing, but that's because they are valuable. We need those guys to be fishing. Um, do we have anybody anywhere else? Well, of course, we've got quite a lot of people uh, building at the moment. So let's just pause on that second house because I do want somebody in my mill. Um, and given it has to be a guy... Uh, he's got to come from somewhere. Okay, nail 1002. Let's just sack him and see if we actually get a worker going there. Because he's got to go from there to somewhere, right? Logically, you would think so. So I've just laid off two people and they're still not actually... Oh, wow, look at this. Where did you get them cows from? I don't even have any oxen. And you've managed to get some... Oh, okay, they, they obviously make a bit of a... Nice. So he's good. He's bringing back some iron, is he? Iron. Yeah, he's bringing back our iron, which is pretty cool. Okay, and it's not very full, as you can see. You could have an awful lot more stuff in the old wagon. So, uh, so there we go. <laughs> All right. So we're we're having our first harvest, which is fab. We've got our first lot of uh, stock through our trading post. I'm going to lay off one of the workers there as well. I still haven't got a guy uh, in here. Let's see, hire many. Yeah, for some reason, we're just not getting any workers in there. Resource supply, ah, possibly because there isn't any resource in there yet. Um, so, 
Yeah, there probably isn't going to be until they finish taking in the harvest. And once they finish taking the harvest, then I guess the farm workers will take the harvest to the mill. Or someone will pick it up and take it to the mill. I'm not absolutely sure. But things do seem to happen in a fairly logical order, which uh, is kind of nice to know, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to have to keep juggling my workers. Um... I don't think I need anybody in the boatyard definitely at the moment. We can make a third boat, I guess, but there's not much point in doing that until we've got some more people. And I guess our priority in the next episode is going to be making that market so we can get some more immigrants, some more immigrants, some more migrants, some more people. We need more people, basically, um, coming to uh, provide us with more uh, more workers in our town and then we can continue to expand or we can start to expand in the first instance but at the moment that is what we're sadly lacking is workers but we'll have to build a couple more houses first get these houses fin finished and then we've got available housing get a market up and running expand our farm um, and uh, yeah get into cattle production and get into trade in a bigger way with all three of our neighbours, get some sunflowers going as well, get some more potatoes for our nearest neighbour, etc. Okay, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm finding this game sort of fairly sort of educational and things. I think it's probably relatively realistic, which is why perhaps I find it a little bit difficult to wrap my head around. Um, but uh, it's a learning curve, and we're getting there. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know. Also, feel free as ever. Leave your hints, tips, comments. Let me know what you think if you've played this game, and I do hope you'll join me next time we play Austria. Until then, keep game, stay happy, and bye-bye for now.